Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at preparing images in Adobe Illustrator, saving them out of Illustrator as SVG files that can be used with the Brother Scan and Cut. Now I have the Brother Canvas workspace on my screen here and in the video that's linked up in the top right corner over here, I showed you how to export SVG files for the Cricut. Unfortunately, those Cricut files don't work perfectly inside the Brother for the Scan and Cut. Let me just go and show you. This was the image that the SVG that we exported in this video. Now it's got layers in it so everything is here it's just that it's lost its color. When it was in Illustrator it actually had color. So you could come through and just change the color so if ever you get a image, an SVG image that has just black then just go into the file and just explore inside it and work out what you've got there so that you can then fill the various elements with color. But what I wanted to do or actually what a subscriber asked me if I could do was to actually export the images from Illustrator as SVGs that would open with color. My files don't do it. Let's see how we're going to solve the problem. Now this is the file that we were working with. So this is the file that we actually got at the end of the video in the top right corner. But saving the SVG file as I showed you how to do it in that video while it's compatible with the Cricut, it's not compatible with the Brother. So it's taken me quite a while to work out what's going on. I just want to show you how I solved the problem. Well firstly I started looking for a solution to help my subscriber and I couldn't find anything. So I decided to reverse engineer things. So I went to this site which is kaluladesign.com. Thank you so much guys over there. What I did was I downloaded this multicolor image and you can see here that I got a number of file formats. Well I was focusing on the SVG. So what I did was I opened it in the canvas workspace and it was color. So all of a sudden I had an SVG file that was in color that was actually usable inside the Canvas workspace. So I went and opened it inside Illustrator. I saved it from Illustrator using my method to see if there was something in the structure of my file that wasn't working. And as soon as I opened it in the Canvas workspace, of course, it was all black. So poking around inside that file, I saw that the internal structure of the file was pretty much the same as mine. So I couldn't see a good reason why theirs would work and mine didn't. So I assumed that the problem was the way I was saving it and I came across this website. It is a chatterboxquilts.com website and it was actually a blog post about converting troublesome SVG files for the scan and cut and here was my answer. So all the way down the bottom here in a comment here from a guy called Mike six years ago, thank you Mike, was a set of SVG settings that were different to the ones that I was using. And so what I did was I went to Illustrator, saved my file out with those settings and it worked perfectly. So let's go and see what those settings are. So what I'm going to do is go to File, Save As and I'm going to give it a new name. This is actually going to be version two because I've just made version one and it's going to be SVG. So I'm going to save it out as an SVG file, but what I want is this SVG options. So these are the settings you're going to use. It's SVG 1.0, not 1.1. So just make sure you select 1.0. The type is SVG. The sub setting here is different to the default. It's only glyphs used. Image location is embed. The preserve illustrator editing capabilities is disabled. The CSS properties are presentation attributes. The decimal places are three. The encoding is Unicode UTF-8. And of these checkboxes, the only one you're going to check is output fewer T-SPAN elements and then you can save it. Now, these are just the settings that I got from that blog post. I haven't tried other settings. All I wanted was something that worked. So you may be able to choose different settings here. I don't know, I can't guarantee it, but this one will work. I'll click OK. And now let's go back to the Canvas workspace and let's create a new file. Don't want to save that one. I'm going to import because of course you have to import SVG files. Here is the Brother version 2, the one that I just saved 
and I'll click open and here it is in full color inside the Brother Canvas workspace. So there you are. If you need to be creating SVG files that are compatible with more than just the Cricut machine and obviously the Brother is a popular machine, give those SVG specifications a go and I think that you're going to be pleased with the results. And a thousand thank yous to the subscriber who asked the question and the people from those two websites who helped me find the answer because sometimes it really does take a village. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.